Well, hello, YouTube buds. I hope you're doing well. This vlog is going to be much more vloggy and just talking a bit, but I will give you some tips, like some technology tips in doing artwork. So there is some benefit for those who are creators out there and want to uh, get some good tips. You never know. Sometimes people just don't talk about these things and it's helpful to hear them. I guess I can show you if I'm going to give a little tour of the place, what I'm working on currently. These are my sister's dogs, actually. They're Shih Tzus or Shih Tzus. I don't know how to pronounce that dog breed, but they are awfully cute, but they're older dogs. I did see some blue in the coloring and um, in, in terms of looking at the colors on the fur, and I thought, well, I will start with an undercoating. Some of that blue will disappear, but I'll leave some. One reason I picked this photo over some of the others was it gives a, an alternate pose to the straight on look. So lots of art things to think about as you're looking at that very initial phase with the eyes pretty much done on the first dog. I sometimes draw there, but I usually draw on my lap. One angle that works is putting the camera over here and then facing the drawing board. The other place is I just put the camera there facing my lap here and I sit there with the drawing board kind of on my lap but resting on this portable computer table which is right in front of my computer. A third pillow I usually have on top of there but when I'm filming I have to remove them to get the angle correct and I usually just sit on the chair which is not very comfortable so I've got the pillows for comfort and then when I'm, I'm filming I suffer for you. I suffer. George suffers. I've got the fan on me now though because I don't want to suffer. Let's turn that off very temporarily because I'm going to overheat. All right, so sisters dogs, there were other photos. The first ones were not very colorful and were badly lit. So this was good practice because you have to say, well, I really could use another photo. And I didn't realize for one of the dogs how important it was for both of them because I couldn't see the eyes at all in one of them. And don't forget, you can always zoom in if you're using a Mac and you can figure these stuff out, but I have a Mac, so. And can I do it with one hand? It's all the way across the keyboard. Command plus, you zoom in so you can see it better. But as you're doing artwork, it's important to crop it. That way you can decide. Now I decided which pose to use. These are the two I chose. And him zoomed in is over here. This is not just zoomed in, it's cropped. So you decide which of this area will generally be in your photo. I'm not going to do this, this one little side of him. I'm not going to do the paws. This is going to be a full face pose up through here about. So up through here. Can you see the arrow moving? Where is it? There. For cropping, you can say, well, I want, and then you can let go of the mouse and adjust. Say, I want that part in my picture and I gotta say, will he fit on that side of the paper or the full, let's say that was an eight by 10. And then if you're on a Mac, you have to click this little pencil button on the top. All right. And uh, that opens up all the tools. I have, and that'll stay up there once you click it. And you have all various tools to use. You have to just play with that. But if you click crop, you can then see right away um, how you can really focus in instead of looking at the whole photo. You can now say, oh, I want to use this almost exact on my, on my paper and draw that. And you can ignore and re you can remove the confusion of having more of the dog showing. I'm holding a little bit of a tripod actually, a tabletop tripod that helps to stabilize the camera. If your tripod wasn't half broken, which mine kind of is, so I'm now holding a, holding it in a couple places. It's not replace worthy yet for me. It would be more convenient to have a larger one and take photos of my art, for example, with a standing tripod instead of trying to stack up a pile of books to put on this table and then the tabletop tripod on top of that. It gets very awkward. So of course I can use more improvements, but I don't need them right away. I usually use the liquid. I'm running low on that, and that's what I need to order. The Gamsol Odorless Mineral Spirits to blend that way. The Gamsol is pricier, but um, you don't use much, so that's not a big hit at all. 
If you're looking for something to transfer images from your phone to your computer, see I'm pretty low tech and I can push myself, take notes, trial and error, but thankfully the one of the first ones I tried in terms of looking for apps, I've had nothing but positive experiences with this, send anywhere, and you have this on your phone and you select what you want, I can't show you, I'm filming with my phone, but you select the files you want to send and you press send. And then on this end, under receive, it creates a six digit number. And then you put in your six digits and then it takes only a little short time if you have a decent computer to transfer either a movie file or photos. This was really helpful. Um, and I got lucky in a way, I kind of, I did Google search what are some good file transfer apps? And I, this was one listed and it, it really does work. And I found this is faster though. I could be imagining it. You keep your computer on the intern, the internet cord. If you've got one, which mine is going up to the ceiling and keep it plugged in that way. I turn the Wi-Fi off. So in transferring the computers using the cord, and the phone only is using the Wi-Fi instead of both. I think that does make it, and I think that's why I'm experiencing it faster. So if you're looking for something, I do recommend that. Um, they're not paying me or anything. I just thought I would share that with you. Here is a close-up of the file going over. You can see it says it's at 19%, 20%. It's transferring actually a very large file of that film clip I just made, which needs to be edited. Um, so there's a lot more than what you saw that I had to take off some bits where I misspoke or things like that and edit them out um, and clean it up a bit. But you can see it's moving quite quickly, 29%, um, 30% for 2.71 gigabytes. That's a lot of data and you can see how that percent is moving fast. Um, so it's quick. And I have done very well, like I said, ignoring these ads on the right. Anything that says Sendy might be the same company. I don't know. I don't know, because none of this is necessary. Register now. I don't know what that means. None of that means anything. And I see the same language on my phone, interspersed with some ads. Um, and it's a free app. So that's a big plus. Now it does say enjoy file management with Sendy. I think you can use more aspects of this company. It's a way of them selling themselves by going to their company, finding out what more products you can buy. That's probably what's going on here. But the app itself for transferring things is free. And now it's at, I've never, oh, I've never hovered before like that. But it's, it's now up to 55% for a very large movie file. Photos take like 10 seconds. Okay, now that's finally, finally it. So I hope you're having a good one. Enjoy your week ahead. And um, that's it for now. And I will see you in the next one. All right? Bye.